With this subject for oil painting, I was hoping we would uh, use a few images based on um, the theme of casting and fly fishing, river fishing, after um, watching a program called Gone Fishing. So this image has some interesting properties which I'll look, hopefully look in, into a bit more. The light coming across here would work as a glaze and this, the abstract properties here would work with different brushes, perhaps an old house decorating brush or even a worn out um, washing up brush. So those couple of things, if you've got them lying around, that would be good. Hard pencil like an H or a 2H or an HB and some PVA in water uh, diluted one to one, one part PVA, one part water. Um, so these, these are the choices, um, that, that image and this one, uh, all of casting um, in rivers and lakes and this one, casting. So I've chosen this one and I've drawn up the um, loosely to get the position. I need the position of the of the figure, which is the most important thing in the image. The rest of it doesn't really matter. I don't need to draw that, but I do need to know where the figure is and to get the figure in fairly accurately. Foreground. So it seems to have the nice elements of triangles, the triangle in the foreground, sort of lost area here with the cast, which I'll try and make a bit more of the line and the rod and the textures in the rock and the river. This would suit sfumato, and then when that's dried, this would suit glazing with translucent layers of whitish or opaque, semi-opaque glazes. And this would suit um, perhaps laying on with something unconventional uh, on top later. So we work from thin to thick paint traditionally in oils. So the first step would be to draw this out on a piece of or a sketching paper or board and um, work out the grid and then we'll talk and have a look at drawing this image in this area here using positive and negative shapes based on observation from this. So that's what I've done with this example. I've drawn it out uh, in the hard pencil and it's a little bit soft. Um, at this stage, so to protect that I would take the PVA in water and just give that a wash over with the PVA in water and that will seal the pencil. You can do that with um, hairspray as well, which is a sort of fixative, only the hairspray makes the surface rather slippery. So that's, it's the equivalent of a glue really PVA and water. Give that a bit of a stir. Get the PVA up from the bottom. So a bit too much water in this. That's better. I'll just do that all over the whole image. And then leave this to dry some more. So once that's dried it'll be ready for painting on. Uh, the next stage, looking at sfumato and blurring and blending.